guys welcome back to my channel so if you guys have been following me for a while here on YouTube or on Instagram then you know how I feel about Lorac I am known as the Lorac Queen I love Lorac products I almost own everything from the line um, I think their shadows are phenomenal very creamy very smooth very buttery so when I heard they were releasing a sequel to the unzipped palette, the unzipped gold palette, I had to get my hands on it. Today I will be doing a first impressions plus swatches of this palette. I will be um, showing comparison swatches from the first and the second palette. So if you guys are at all interested in seeing the sequel to the highly loved Lorac unzipped palette, then keep on watching. Oh, but first, I am doing a Q&A video here on my channel. I feel like it is time for you guys to get to know me better. So, in this video, in the comments down below right now, pause this video and go ahead and leave your questions for me down below. And I will be happy to answer them in the Q&A video. So, yeah, let's get on to the first impressions review. All right, so the packaging is almost identical to the first palette. It is this cardboard packaging. Um, it's matte and it says Lorac Gold on it. I have already gotten it dirty because I was having a little swatch fest and playing with the shadows. But this comes with 10 eyeshadows, um, four of them being matte, the other six being shimmer, metallic, satin finish, shadows, and... I picked this up from Kohl's. It retails for $42. Um, from what I have read, it will be available on LaRockCosmetics.com on January 15th, also for $42. So if you wanted to pick it up, you can go there or you, or you can head into your local Kohl's. They are releasing other things. I think this is part of the Spring 2015 collection. They are releasing a palette of four blushes with a lipstick and I think a couple of lip glosses. They also p released a new concealer which I did pick up and um, yeah so again four mattes six shimmer they're beautiful here is the original palette if you guys have not seen it before again this one is beautiful excellent for every day and so So I think the metallic shades in this palette are the most impressive ones I'm not super impressed with the matte shades in this palette. Um, I feel like they don't give off too much pigment, but in my opinion, I think matte shades are just a little difficult to work with. So from left to right, this is underdressed, which I'm most disappointed in. It's this um, cream colored shade here up top, and I feel like it is just not very pigmented whatsoever, but all the other shades in the palette are absolutely stunning. This is uninhibited, unpredictable, undeniable, which is matte, but it does have a little, a very small amount of shimmer in it. Um, this is unedited. Here we have unafraid, and then we have unwind, and then unleashed is this absolutely stunning. It reminds me of the Vegas lights from um, Makeup Geek. And then we have unlimited and then unlocked. So this is the unzipped gold palette. I think the satin and metallic palettes are standouts for me. The mattes just aren't that great, but I mean, I think they just take a little bit of working with. I'm not a big matte shadow fan in the first place. So this is the unzipped gold palette. All right, you guys. So this is the original unzipped palette. And just like the original unzipped gold, I think the mattes in this palette is a little hard to work with, but the mattes in this particular palette are easier to work with than the gold palette while I feel like they're not as creamy and buttery as other palettes. But again, the metallics and these satin shades are the stands stand out for me. They are absolutely stunning. So in order for this to be a you know a one-shot palette to where you can grab this and go, I really think it is is missing a medium brown, maybe some nice red tones, just a different color transition because I think undeniable and unwin 
pigment or just a little too dark in the palette. And that's something that I feel like the original palette is missing as well. This so my one qualm or one thing that I don't like about this palette is that I feel like the mattes are kind of difficult to work with. Um, I think mattes in general are a little different to work with but it's really 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 hard to get the pigmentation with these with these mattes in this uh, palette particularly. Undressed um, is just it looks like a really nice creamy white. It's it's very hard to really get any pigment off as far as when I swatch it. When I swatch it, I get this, and it just looks like it should be a little more. So I'm just not fully impressed with the mattes in this in this palette. This is um undeniable. And this is Unwind. I feel like the mattes in this palette don't have very much pigment. I think this palette is beautiful, but I'm not a fan of the matte shades in this palette. Nor am I the, a fan of the shades in the original Unzipped palette. They just aren't that pigmented, in my opinion. Um, at first I thought my Unzipped palette, I got a bad one. But then when I got this one and I saw it's not as pigmented either, I'm thinking it is the shadows. The pigment in the Lorac Pro palettes are... 10 times better than these in the unzipped palettes. And it's that way with both of them. In both of the unzipped palettes, the metallics, the shimmers, they are phenomenal. They're so pigmented, so creamy, but the matte shades are kind of lacking. I'm not, I think maybe they need to go back and redo them. They're just not that pigmented. Luckily, there are only four in the palette. Um, I think the matte shades in the original are better than in the unzipped gold. So it's up to you if you guys want to run out and get these palettes. Um, I, it's hard. I'm a shimmer. I'm a shimmer lover. So I think the $42 is worth it because this unleashed shade is freaking stunning. Like it is beautiful look at this this unleashed shade is just phenomenal I would pay $42 for this alone so if you like shimmer um, definitely give this palette a try I think they are extremely pigmented I just think the matte shades aren't that great so I mean I don't know what you want to do I'll let you guys be the deciding factor but I wanted to get some swatches out there so that you can decide so all in all it's a nice palette um, the matte shades kind of suck but the shimmer shades make up for it. they're absolutely beautiful and stunning in both of the palettes I think the shimmer shades are on point all right you guys that is it that is my first impressions plus swatches of the new Lorac gold unzipped palette um, make sure you guys subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload videos also follow me on my social media I really love to be active with you guys there please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share with all your fellow makeup lovers out there and until next time I'll see you in my next video bye guys um, adding a couple of things to my cart and I accidentally hit the checkout button